we are trying to do everything to help member states to prevent criminals and terrorists on nuclear material falling into the wrong hands that could be used for malicious acts. The threats are there, the threat is really real, and terrorists, of course, are there and looking for such possibilities or for opportunities to meet their goals without any hesitation. When I pass, we offer to our member states open their requests to help them assess the effectiveness of their physical protection systems. And from you and us, everyone that does have a badge has to sign in here. In average, we conduct three to four missions per year. And uh, so far, we have organized uh, more than 50 missions in more than 35 countries. We do visit a wide range of nuclear and radiological installations. And this includes nuclear power plants, research reactors, other fuel cycle facilities like storage you know, facilities, like fuel fabrication facilities, enrichment facilities, but also other radiological facilities like radiotherapy departments and so on to check the effectiveness of the physical protection of such installations and such material. With the selection of the teams that conduct such missions are made by the agency. And usually we are talking about five to seven experts with a team leader coming from member states and these are international recognized experts in physical protection and nuclear security. Well, they concentrate on all the detection system, intrusion system, alarm systems, uh, and also they check also the, the, the protected areas, the vulnerable areas, the inner areas, and the fences. So they look at the whole system. The cameras has full coverage. It has full coverage, but I showed you there are two places I have two small images. Any deviation then would result in a gap. So for those gaps then we make recommendations for improvements. But at the same time we also identify good practices or best practices that we take with us and then disseminate this to other countries that would benefit from such best practices. So in summary there are two results of such missions improvements for the country that has requested the mission in terms of making recommendations and suggestions for improvements but also to identify best practices that globally the global international community benefits from such best practices to improve physical protection worldwide.